the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh. It disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. Well, that was cool. I really like Warhammer lore. I've never encountered a game that I could get into that actually made me like Warhammer, but I think that's just generally because most of the games are kind of phone in. I'd like to play Space Marine at some point. I heard that was good. But like, I, I straight up, like, every time I try playing Warhammer anything, it, it either doesn't run well or it isn't very good and sucks. Because I'd, I'd love to see some, like, really high quality stuff. So let's, uh, let's check this one out. The 41st millennium, a time of darkness and war. The Imperium, Imperium of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. Fights an endless war against Xenos from without, heretics within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleets serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. They are the tech priests of Mars, guardians and reclaimers of humanity's technology. Ever searching for remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past, Exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds lost to mankind. In the name of the machine, their machine god, they manufacture the Imperial War Machines within gigantic foundries known as Forge Worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Adaptus Mechanicus shed their human weaknesses, replacing their limbs and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Their leaders, the inscrutable Magi, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with their cohorts, of Skitari troops. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, and portents of doom. Across this benighted galaxy, the Adaptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defenses against a new dark age. Or perhaps they will be the ones to hasten its dawn. An echo in the new sphere, Mag Magos. An old transmission lost in the warp and recovered only now. Is it worthy of our attention? The great divide torments the galaxy. The resources of the Adeptus Mechanicus are stretched thin. We are weaker than ever. Though the Imperium at large knows it not, this represents an unknown, but possible key to victory. An opportunity to research. Perhaps avert the ill fate that has befallen us. The transmission's origin is Silva Tenebris, part of the Amicia Solus, or Solaris, within Ultima Segmentum. Segmentum. Search the rolls, Redditus. <laughs> Reddit us. Great. Gather them. Four months later. Accessing Magos stuff. Whoever find this finds this transmission and follows me here, give thanks that you will see what I have seen. But be wary, my fellow seekers of knowledge. Whatever lies beneath this world, I fear, I hope, I have woken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, and but I found so much more. Terrors, yes. Threats to the body and soul. But by the Omnissia, I found such wonders. This is the last transmission of Magos Raysak. He vanished while on an explorator mission to investigate Zeno's structures on Silva Tenebris. Hypothesis. He found something. Our mission on this world is to ascertain any Zeno's presence, and if we find it, eliminate it as a threat to the Imperium. 
The opening of the Great Divide means we can call no additional support from the Forge Worlds. We must achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Benefit analysis, peace for sector, knowledge for mankind, potential opportunity. Don't know if I said that already. Oh well. An opportunity to destroy the worlds of the Xenos. Skivola. Not appropriate them. Themiscrian Manuscripts, verse 619. What the enemy built, let it be made asunder. For to us, it will be as a horse of sand and knives. A house of sand and knives, not horse. Magi, we are approaching the target coordinates. I understood pretty much a very small fraction of that. There's a lot of pronouns in the Warhammer universe, and it's rough to work with. It looks like this is not going well for anybody. There she is. Temperate climate. Atmosphere standard breathable. My Skatari troops should be able to operate down there without trouble. Are they ready to make landfall? As soon as we're in stable orbit, Magos. Administrative records indicate a single colony, St. Eckert's Hope, on the surface near the Xeno's Runes. No contact recorded in two centuries. Colony presumed failed. This Skitari will deploy the surf uh, to the surface near the runes with a team of tech priests under my direct command. I shall monitor them from the command th throne on board. Servo Skull Reditus will serve as my eyes on the surface. We make landfall at once. Yes, Magos. I'll set up a forward command post. Raysac's transmission looked like it came from underground. We'll secure any entrances to an underground structure so your tech priests can begin exploration. The begin the exploration. Agrolec sector located. The tomb reeks of stale, dusty antiquity. Its one stern architecture is littered with debris and tarnished with the patina of age. Here and there, fissures in the structure cast feeble light over the cracked and tarnished metal. The tomb was once brutalist and oppressive, as if designed to crush the spirits of its inhabitants. It is no less intimidating now, but instead of evoking a merciless guiding intelligence, it speaks only of decline and death. This place seems abandoned at first glance, but as the exploratory troops move through its hushed corridors, the ancient dust stirs and something long dead begins to take on a facsimile of life. Going by our fragmentary information, it looks like a buried tomb structure. Then the Sword of Omnissiah is ready to fall. We deploy immediately. Let the secrets of this world equal zero. I counsel caution, Megos Fastinus. Our purpose should be here to destroy the threat of the alien, not bask in its blasphemy. Aphorisms of the Logic Saints 7.91. In the presence of the Xenos lies the invisible miasma of corruption. Destruction is not, impo not possible from orbit, Fedex. The structure is too deeply buried. And Scifola, I have no intention of plundering whatever trinkets I can find from this place. The exploratory unit of tech priests is inside the tomb and ready to proceed, Magos. There's no telling what we will find. My men will hold the perimeter in case of the unexpected. It would be folly to commit our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of a morale threat exists that the Skatari are less able to withstand. I have the greatest respect for the Skatari, but they are still far from the ascension of, that a tech priest affords. I agree, Subdomina. I shall lead the mission in person from the command throne. Servo Skull Redditus shall be my eyes and ears on the ground. Omnissiah be praised. We are going in. The Adaptus Mechanis are a curious breed. They expo explore and interact with machines they do not fully understand. 
Within this tutorial, you'll have to explore the interface to do uh, to discover what to do. Like a true tech priest, you must experiment in order to learn. We'll help you out this one time. Left mouse button, also known as LMB, click on the adjacent room to move. These Xenos hy hieroglyphs, I know them. They are my undoers. Necrons, mysterious, ill-researched, corruptive. This could be a rare sample of Necron language, Magos. We have barely any knowledge of it. Collecting data from this obelisk couldn't move our understanding of the language ahead for the first time in centuries. This is the work of an alien, Magos. Codex Fulminatus 83.12. Show caution and scorn in all things. Okay. Sometimes tech priests will feedback important information about what they encounter in a room. These situations require you, our commander, to make decisions. There will be consequences, so choose wisely. Interesting. So is this does this is this roguelikey or is it I don't know. So We can, uh, huh. So ahead is an obelisk-like object, covered in what can only be described as hieroglyphic symbols. It almost reaches the tall ceiling of this chamber. Uh, so we can do secure, scourge, or scrutinize. Let's do secure. Check the surrounding chambers for potential da dangers. We're detecting a massive energy spike from inside the tomb. Thank the Omna Saya, no one was close enough to be hit by the radiation, but something's happening in there. Something huge. Noctilith source detected, also known as Blackstone. Request collection. Immediate. Okay. The cohort searches the chambers adjoining the obelisk's location. They find a few pieces of wreckage made from exotic materials and are gathering them when the obelisk suddenly splits open, bathing its chamber in radiation. It appears that there's something inside the obelisk. All right, there's a lot of characters in here. Okay, so it's roguelike in the style similar to Darkest Dungeon Rooms, sort of. Huh, interesting. I like the visual style they're going for here. It's very strange, but it works. Let's see how combat works. I like the fact that the tutorial is particularly not, uh, isn't particularly like, and uh, handholdy, which could be bad. Uh, could be a bad thing, or it could be good. Good. I don't know. Necrons. Raysak did encounter them after all. No wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every datum we have says they are as deadly as they are inhuman. Okay. The cohort encounters resistance in the form of Xenos constructs. Not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and coordination. So follow the established combat engagement protocols as shall be done by the book. The aggressive stance of the tech priest ensures that they will not be outmaneuvered, but risks... They're running headlong into the fire of enemy or caution. Exercise extreme caution. Do not charge in too heedlessly, lest the trickery of the alien be our downfall. Caution! The slow advance risks granting the enemy the opportunity to execute an ambush of the Adeptus Mechanicus force. Well, this could go bad. I don't really know. We'll find out how it could, how it works. Xeno's form de detected. Confirmed. Redditus cogitators now function for synthetic forms. Overwhelming excitement. Finally, we can study this Necron warrior. Weak spots detected. Okay. Uh, weak spots detected. None concerning. I wonder about the symbols emblazoned on their torsos. Must. Do not underestimate. Gauss weaponry. Highly volatile. This is true. I've heard our brothers and sisters in the Mechanicus lost their lives trying to solve the mysteries of those Xeno's weapons. Approach with caution. It also double-checking cogitators. Widely known, they will self-repair, reanimate, or reconstruct themselves if left, if left the time to do so. Wounds that would normally instantly kill a Skitari are the equivalent to a Class C graze to Necrons. Okay, so it is XCOM combat, or grid-based-ish. This is a battle arena view. Using the power of the Necrosphere, the Tech Priest's data network, you control your cohort of deadly Adaptus Mechanicus units while you safely sit safely in orbit on the Cestus Metallican. 
At the start of every fight, you must decide the location of your units on the field of battle. You can only place units on highlighted squares. Click on a square to place a unit. I assume cover is probably not a thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. What are these? I have no idea. Yeah, doesn't look like cover's a thing. To move a unit, left mouse button within a blue outline, then you can confirm movement. To decline movement, okay, just right click anyway. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna go over here and shoot at this guy. Okay, so we have Servo Skull. One cognition point reve reveals an enemy's statistics. Cool down two. Or we could shoot him. This is your servo skull, the skull of the faith of a faithful servant of the Omnissiah, augmented to be a useful companion. Every tech priest has their own servo skull. Servo skulls are very helpful in combat and cognition point collection. Select an enemy to find out its battle statistics. Okay. You've revealed the statistics stats of the enemy. Knowing your enemy stats will greatly increase your chances of success. Servo skulls reveal HP, physical armor, and energy armor statistics. You then decide what weapon types, physical or energy, work best against this target. Okay, so we have pretty much physical armor anyway. And he's down. Killing Necrons isn't simple. Necrons are made of a self-repairing metal that is able to knit together dismembered limbs and gaping wounds. We call this the reanimation protocol. When a Necron is in their reanimation protocol, they're unable to fight but will return to fighting conditions soon. Dealing any amount of damage to a Necron in this protocol state will destroy them indefinitely. You've used all possible actions for this unit and there's nothing else you can do. End turn. Okay, so we can gain a cognition point from just being right there. What is this? I'm not actually sure. Okay. So I could do that, reveal stats. Can I... Can I pan? Can I reveal this guy's stats? Okay, so cognition stats kind of... Or like an ability point situ situation? I'm not sure. This game is weird. Okay, I'm going to park him right next to that. You've just moved your tech priest to a source of cognition points. CPs represent the valuable information tech priests are harvesting. There are several ways to collect CP. The fastest way is moving your tech priest close to a source of CP. There are many other ways to collect CP, so look around and find out what they are. Okay, so we'll just get this working. Cognition points are stored at the bottom of the screen in the CP cage. CP are sh a shared team resource, so plan ahead. Okay. Okay, so I only have one, so I can't shoot. And I could go further out, but I don't think it's really going to do much for me. Uh... Okay, you're about to move using cognition movement. This happens when you're within the orange movement outline. Confirming the movement will use CP, allowing your tech priest to move faster. Okay, so why don't we move out here and then we can wail on this guy. Oh, that'll get us a, con a cognition point and let us kill him. Whammo! Okay. Yeah, this music is interesting. I actually really like this game so far. The Necron you just attacked has been teleported away to somewhere far beyond our reach. In practical terms, this means you killed your target. That's bullshit. You should die! Alright, so it actually looks like you can move quite a number of times here. Owie. Okay, at the start of every new round, there's a Cognition acqu Acquisition Phase. This phase is when Cognition Points are replenished at Necron Cognition res Reserves. So these things. Gotcha. You'll be able to call other members of the cohort as battle as the battle goes on. This will happen at the start of every round. You need ignition points to deploy troops. Okay, so I can summon a servitor if I wanted to. I've only got a handful. I'm not sure if I need it. Are they all just servitors? Okay. Well, we'll summon... We'll summon him there. 
and that'll be close enough. He can give me some more. Mechanicus, there are two types of units to control. Tech priests, the two units you've already commanded, or troops, such as the one you've just deployed to the battlefield. Troops are your servants and cannon fodder. They don't have access to as many weapons and skills as tech priests, for they are useful and should not be overlooked. Okay. I love the visual design. The level design may be less exciting, but that's okay. So it looks like he's just got a servo arm, nothing more. It also does not look like um, these guys will, will gather cognition points. So you can only see your cognition points down there. Okay, so we can't hit anything. I'm just going to move my guys back. We're not going to make it anywhere. We'll be okay. Hopefully the cannon fodder will just soak, soak hits. So does cognition points get reset after, uh, every round? When servitors are hit in combat, the tech priests take an interest. Quickly noting down the damage angles, projectile speeds, and other useful combat information to be used later against their enemies. This is represented by gaining a cognition point. Servitors are very a very useful unit in all of your missions. Huh. So we just have dudes that we sack here, effectively gain extra shooty points. I... It's a little... cruel. Uh, do we... Do we bother? No, no, no. We should probably save up so we can shoot a dude. Uh, okay. The... The tile detection's a little wacky sometimes. Anyway, hello! Smack'ems! All right, dead scan. Oh, yep. Flex stuff when hit by an enemy. We're just gonna move him over here. Yeah, things do not die in 40k unless four terms equivalent to obliterated are used in conjunction. Huh. No threat remaining. Okay, so you actually just have to down them in this case, and then you can just execute them all. That's neat. All Zuno's life, life forms purged. Your cohort's HP carries over from each fight within a mission. Keep in mind when exploring a tomb, and look out for opportunities to repair. Ouch. I mean, not unexpected, to be totally honest, but ouch. Okay. Hypothesis formulation. Sarcophagi slash coffin slash burial places. Structural purpose designation. Tomb. So, in the chambers ahead are several groups of structures, like upright coffins, of, the, of an unknown material. So we can ignore. We can intrigue. Ensure you observe your surroundings carefully. Detailed pick grabs and readings may be the key to success or burn them. Make sure you destroy any structure that looks suspicious. It's worth pausing in your advance to do harm to the Xeno's abominations. Intrigue. They're waking up. The Gorhar examines the sarcophagi. Note that each indeed contains a Necron warform within its heavily armored exterior. They're drawing power from somewhere. Well, onwards. Cannon fodder servitors. It's fine, they signed the waiver. Ah! After exploring the chamber for several minutes, a tile underfoot clicks. The sound of whirring energy builds up around your troops. A quick Omnispec scan reveals you're surrounded on all sides by Xeno lifeforms. Okay, kill all enemies. Alright, so what do we got? So, cover doesn't look like it's much of a thing. I'm just going to move these guys here. Uh, I'm assuming... Oh, I can just summon servitors. Sweet! I'm just going to put the uh, cannon fodder first. Actually, going to get some fresh ones. Oh, uh, this way, hopefully we don't lose any. So it looks like I can actually summon the entirety of the cohort if I want to. But I figure I might as well farm a little bit of extra CP. We don't have many CP. 
unfortunately. But that's okay. All right, end turn. Okay, macro stubber. Oh. Might as well do servo skull on... Let's do this guy. He's got the easiest chance of being killed. Never mind. All right, so how much damage is that? That's all physical, it looks like. You've not revealed the statistics for this target. As a result, the amount of damage dealt is unknown. Servo skills, but yeah, we already know about that. All right, end turn. Okay, so we can use a CP-powered weapon. We know, we know about this. Okay, servo skull on this guy. All right, so I did hit the right dude. Sort of? I think this guy has energy weapon, yeah. Okay, so cover kind of matters. You can't shoot through your own dudes. Okay, so I should be able to just kill him. There we go, and a critical, sweet. Which actually looks like it just kills him dead. You've killed a Necron unit with a critical hit. When you critically kill a Necron, they're unable to activate their reanimation protocols and are instantly teleported from battle. I have no idea what these are. I probably should have stood next to them. What are those? Opportunity equal knowledge. Gather. Must obtain. Required. Scarabs detected. Data source surfacing. Mm. No life forms detected. Area safe. Continue forward. Reditus, verify your cogitators. Then tell me what surface from Majos Raceax cogitators. Scarabs of an unknown race. Biology, synthetic, possible artificial intelligence. Once specimens gathered, AI theory equals false. Personal recording. Weeks of studies show there are many variants of Scarab, each with their own roles within the Xeno's economy and architecture. They will build and deconstruct anything they encounter. They will repair other units within their species with lightning speed. Be warned, they are deadly in large swarms. It appears the machine spirit is with us. We've been unable we've been able to access some more of Raceac's data than we thought that we thought was corrupt. It must be due to us recording these Xenos forms that the machine spirit has blessed us with access to these cogitator records. It is unsure why he would lock this under a synthetic proximity encryption. Okay, so I have no idea what these are used for. Anyway, which guy is this? Oh, I can just summon a dude. Uh, I guess I'm just going to summon this dude right there. I should have a chunk of CP. Go over here. I'm not actually sure what these immediately are going to do to me. Probably bad things, so let's finish this off real quick if I can. That didn't kill him. Butts. Alright. Owie. Acid. I don't entirely know what acid is, but yeah, don't stand next to those. When an enemy moves out of melee range, providing your unit has a melee weapon, oh, will trigger an opportunity attack. That's cool. Oof. That's a lot more damage. Right, is that it? Are we done? Or do we have to kill the, uh... Nope. When you enter melee combat in an adjacent square, you're unable to use your ranged weapons. They're too dangerous to use at close range. Oh. Okay. And I'm gonna have to shoot these things. This is... Okay, so acid is real bad. Destruction is the destiny of the Xenos. Fun. Alright. I'm just gonna move him into melee range. Ow, acid sucks. Oh, do I... Oh, there. I do have a choice. Cool. I guess I should move them over here. Hopefully these things don't just keep respawning. Because 
because that'd be a annoying. And we're good. All right. It'd be... Oh, it's probably one of those where they spawn more based on location. Are we... Okay, no threat remaining. Good. I was like, are they just going to continually spit stuff at me? Because that... that'd be bad. Should probably just run at that point. All Xeno life forms purged. Taking some hits, though. Anyway, to this thing. The symbol represents a location of significant importance to your mission. Entering these rooms brings you closer to the end of the mission. Negative signs of hostile forces seeking permission to proceed with data collection protocols. Confirmed. Permission authorized. Acknowledged, Makos. Protocol begins. What is the what is primary focus, sire? Knowledge of Necron forces, numbers, defenses, locations, any form of data on how many remain on this rock. Secondary, source of the purpose of this tomb, why it was built. Interface devices all but eroded. There is one device that may hold answers, but Necron data looms are incomprehensible to Empyrean Arco Archaeotech. This may take a while. Idea, Megos. If I may take host of this priest, I could be of assistance. Approved. New spheric interfacing complete. Hard to decide for a purpose. List of suggestions, Magos. Deconstruct device, activate switch mechanisms, learn Necron na language, and return later. What will it be, sire? Always so meticulous with your tech list, uh, tech acquisitor. Engage on Xeno's mechanisms. Although, I detest to do so. The promises of the rewards are too great to ignore. I mean, to lower ourselves to the Xeno's learnings may be the only way to reach the Archaeotech we search. Protocol updated. Confusion. New spheric interference? Disconnected once. Purged. Reset. New spheric disconnect complete. Possible scrap code. We'll fragment now. Fragmenting. Sire, we have an unfavorable issue to deal with. Requesting Dominus input. Fragmenting. Explain. As tech inquisitor Scavola left, suddenly my cogitators glitched. Augmentations in... Entered sporadic reaction protocols have fried vital sign regito registories. Regi regitories. Unclear of full damage report. Necron device is now activated, sire. Fragmenting. Fragmenting. Fragment. Frag. Remove yourself from the new sphere, Scavola. Redditus, report. The tomb is waking, sire. Reports from Skatari cohorts across the planet. Note, the Tremors vexed the lo their locals. We've lost contact with the Skatari. They were covering the entrance to this tomb. We can hear noises of, of approaching forces. Improved protection protocols. Load weapons and ready for what is to come. We must face the Xenos. I wake with the turning of Aeon. Stars yet burn. Life yet blossom. Is it truly time? Thrones of Mars. What was that? An omnilistic, omnilinguistic transmission, Magos. It seems these mute constructs are not only not the only inhabitants of this structure. What is this flesh and steel combined? A mockery of both. Their every footstep a blasphemy. What manner of galaxy is this into which I have awoken? Principal Xenos, Warform sighted. Exotic energy signatures. Past sensor range. Designate Xeno Abomin Abominatus. High value target confirmed. The hunt is on. What are your orders, Magos? Okay. The Gore reaches a large chamber beneath the first layers of the Xeno's runes. Bridges stretch from balancing platforms. Barely holding themselves together, while rubble falls from the high walkways like breadcrumbs escaping into the abyss below. Capture. Contain the Xeno and return to the Cestus uh, Metallican intact. So it can be vivisected and studied. Fall back, get the tech priest out of there, or stand ground. Annihilate the Xenos with righteous fury. What do you guys think? Try and capture it, run away, or burn everything.
I feel like no matter what, this goes bad. Let's see, capture, burn the Xenos. Burn, capture, okay, still 50-50. Okay, capture. Burn. Run away. Okay, so we're really 50-50 between. Capture, capture. Alright, capture it is. If you insist, Magos, we'll do our best, but I fear you may be overestimating our combat ability. Insects. This galaxy is infested with vermin. Whoops. Oh well. Fight! This is gonna go great. We're gonna die so hard. Okay, survive for six rounds. But this is the final battle of the tutorial. Apply what you've learned so far to strive to obtain victory. The 41st Metal uh, Millennium is a brutal place. You may lose this battle, but not the war. In Mechanicus, there are many alternative paths to discover. Okay, so let's take a look at... So we've got several Necro Necron warriors. These are my tech priests here. That is Void Admiral Akule, We which... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, a lot of CP related stuff. Ah, uh, well, my dudes took some punches, which makes this inherently harder to work with. I'm just gonna chuck them all on. Okay. I get the feeling we are going to lose so hard here, but who knows? Who knows what may happen? I'm gonna plonk him behind that. I sailed the void for a thousand years. I fought the war. You got a dumb butt, dude. I f ow. Okay. So this is one of my my goobers. Good luck, goober. I believe in you. Smack him. Okay. I'm gonna scan him. Ah. I am actually... I am turbo nerd. Let's see if we can... I pretty much can't... Everybody's out of range. Okay. This guy is within range. It'll cost me a CP. But that seems like a reasonable option. We'll get vital stats on this guy. Less useful than I wanted it to be. I was really hoping... Oh. Oh. We can we can move closer. Alright. I forgot you can just chain these. Hello. Please kill it. Dang it. Oh, it's okay. It's only got a gun. So maybe we'll be fine. I'm assuming okay, there goes my servitor. Servitor 001 has died. Do not worry. Troops are cannon fodder designed to protect your tech priests from enemy attacks. Without tech priests, your missions will fail. Or mission will fail. Alright. Oh, so if you have a character directly next to one of those, they'll just... Uh, respawn anyway. Neat. Alright, so I'm gonna send him over there.
Well, this guy, this guy is doomed anyway. I'm just gonna keep smacking this guy. I don't think we're, I, in fact, I'm... How dare these wretched things stand before the void admiral of Cesaragon? Please don't have an AoE. Thank you. That makes my life a little bit easier. Oh. He moves pretty quick. Makes this a bit harder. If it's just him, we might be able to just run away. Okay, so he's just gonna go that way. I don't know how fast he can move every round. So I can move there. We've got CP aplenty, so... Oh, but we don't... We don't... We just have a gun. So I guess I might as well just shoot this dude. Now, this other guy just died. Uh, let's run over here. He only has that one and that one left. So actually, if we can take out the uh, if we can take out the gooners, this gets a little easier. Now, do we waste the cognition or do we shoot the dude? He's just out of range. Instead of shooting the dude, yeah, let's let's just get up close, wail on the dude. Okay. All weapons have sacred machine spirits within them. The more you use a weapon, the more charged it becomes. When a machine spirit is charged, you gain a buff to attack at that weapon. Each weapon's machine spirit will charge at a different rate. This is shown underneath the weapon's icon. Oh, okay. When you select the weapon, you'll have the buff. Alright, cool. Well, murder. Alright, that gets us a cognition point. This guy is fairly beef-tastic, so I'm actually going to have him run up here. Because this guy's down, I'll take him down next time. I want to plonk him next to this guy so he can't do anything. Or, he might be able to do something, but he'll get smacked for it. Which I think is justified. Also, it took one damage. That's fine. And this way we can just kind of play Ring Around the Rosie with uh, Roboface the Pirate. Because I don't think I'm killing him. He doesn't have a ranged attack, though, but still. Win. Okay. Please don't be within range. Nope, he's within range. Dang it. Okay. Can I scan this guy? Yes. Okay. That'll get us a cognition... So we still have to weather him for a little bit longer. Grab this. He's there. He can move pretty freaking far. I'm probably just gonna keep myself right here. Oh, it's three turns till that thing revives. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. And yeah, if I land these guys next to pillars... Uh...
is he more likely to attack from? I'm going to put this guy right here. Because, yeah, if I have to lose one of these guys, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, so he's going to go for that dude. I probably... Oh, he didn't make it. Yes. Uh, ignition gauge is full, so this will keep it charged. We're just going to play ring around the, uh, the horror horse. Now, this is the guy with, the, with actually more HP. So we'll just plonk him there. Two more turns. Should be good. Oh, you can also delay turn. Or... Okay, move it to the end of the queue. Right, we should probably also hit this corpse. I totally forgot that that exists. Okay, there, there that goes. Okay, can I keep revealing his stats? I guess I can. It's just going to get me extra CP, but you know what? That's that's okay. That's exactly what I'm looking for here. Okay, so we just have to survive one more round after this. And we'll have plenty of CP to run away, and I think he does 6 damage. I'm just going to put him over here. He's going to die anyway. Can you hear the trembling of the stars? Oh, I should have gone the other way around. Because if I had gone this way, he still probably would have cha chased the goon down. But yeah, he only does 5 damage. So, Apprentice uh, Jeremiah should be able to just uh, meat wall for the other guy. And... This way, hopefully, they'll just survive. I mean, in fact, I don't even think he's going to reach us. I don't think he can. Xeno's contained. Ow? The cohort successfully survived the Xeno's life Xeno life forms. Report, Kepra. Well. We got the squad out alive, Magos. That has to count as a victory under the circumstances. We encountered a Necron Warform, capability well beyond our expectations. Yes, I do not need to hold my emotional engrams. However, one battle won is not a success. We will eventually face losses on this mission. When this happens, we must press on. Uh, we must press on beyond our failures to reach success. And there's something else. The reanimation. The Necrons are waking up. It started with when Raysak, uh, Raysak, maybe? I don't know, Raysak, stumbled upon the tomb, but our arrival is accelerating the process. That obelisk may have been a form of intruder alarm, and now the sarcophagi in the tomb are starting to open. And we no longer enjoy the luxury of time. Whatever we do on Silva Tenebris, it must be done before the Necrons awake completely. We do not even know how far the tomb complex extends. We are under the gun, then. Omnissiah, preserve us, if our duty is ever easy. I return sorrow and despair from my emotional cores, but I see they lack the logic to determine decision-making. Instead, I choose to quarantine them and adjust our approach. The word of the Omnissiah teaches us, when one method fails, another might be sought, until all are exhausted. What are your orders, Magos? The Skitari will explore the tomb chamber, by chamber. Maintain a foothold. My tech priests will be deployed to achieve crucial objectives and respond to crises. I may be a factor, but our mission can only be achieved through the thoroughness of a full deployment. I shall mobilize this Qatari immediately, Magos. Opportunity detected. Leader forms of Necrons rarely, never observed. Potential of a plus 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 intelligence on Necrons added to some total of human knowledge. Imperative focus on acquiring artifacts, intelligence, data from. Hold your blasphemous tongue, Scavola. Your counsel only... Ab uh, you counsel the abandonment of our very souls. Life of the Archmages Barasis. Appendix 9. Our only objective should be the death of the alien and all his works. All else is deviance from the Omnissiah Creed. 
If intelligence gain equals truth, then go to victory. Aphorism or reveal. To face an enemy unknown is to fight in the dark. Better in ignorance than in heresy. I return frustration to your conflict and choose to experience it. It will be bloodshed enough on Silver Tenebris without the Magi coming to blows. Our purpose, in our purpose, we are united. This is the will of Om the Omnisaya. And it shall be done. Yes, it shall be done. Magos, the readings from the tomb are troubling. The Skitari have been monitoring, monitoring the structure we uncovered, and what we have found gives me grave concern. Explain, Xenobiologist. The Necron construct forms are waking up. It seems the Magos Ray Sack accidentally began the process and our intrusion... Okay, we already heard this. My plan for the exploration of Silver Tenebris will locate these structures, contain the constructs within. That may be, not be enough, Magos. I have detected a repeating pattern in the reanimation protocols, and the rate of Necrons are awakening. Uh, and the rate of the Necrons are awakening. They are speeding up. Can you be certain? The Necrons are machines. Machines act according to patterns and programs. If the reanimation protocols continue to accelerate, they will fully awaken every Necron on the planet in 264 hours. Given the extent of the buried structures, that will constitute a Necron army beyond this mission's ability to contain. I see. Then our time here is limited. Strategic calculations indicate time spent deployed on missions will affect the overall number of missions we'll be able to deploy. I will send Skitari scouting parties to discover other tombs and create forward positions for your high priority mission, sir. If the th threat on Silver Tenebris is not assessed and eliminated before full, full reanimation is reached, we will be forced to abandon the planet. Look at the top left corner of the screen. This is the Necron Awakening Meter. This shows you how many Necron tombs have awoken on Silver Tenebris. Try and gather as much information in tech before reaching 100%. I fear they are right. I fear they fear too. That is part of my humanity I've chosen to retain, but I can quarantine it in my neuro vaults and choose instead to focus on what must be done. We must choose our missions wisely. It will not be easy. The Omnissiah did not send us here to do anything easy. The threat to humanity pres present on this world will be eliminated or we shall not leave. Thus, the equation is balanced. It is the will of the machine god. Acropsis Sector located. This tomb is bathed in, sick, in a sickly green light that serves not to illuminate, but only to make shadows deeper. Uh, deeper. Every surface seems connected via filaments of alien light. The design here speaks of Zeno's tech heresy, forbidden knowledge and structure as alive as aware and aware as anything inhabiting it. Early explorer, exploratory readings indicate the walls are made of substances not known to the rituals of metallur metallurgy. Abstract designs carved into the substance suggest unknown regions of space mapped according to some alien understanding. The weight of such blasphemy shows the steps of the first troops to enter here. The heresies of knowledge are deadly enough, but it seems unlikely that they are the only dangers here. Oh boy. Welcome to Cestus Metallican, an Arc Mechanicus class battleship. This class of ship is one of the largest in the Imperium. It is only afforded to the Adeptus Mechanicus. From here, you will be able to customize your tech brace and prepare for the missions ahead. You can select the missions on the character ports at the left of the screen. Before we go on a mission, you should inspect and equip our tech brace. Head over to the cohort tab. Oh, no. I mean, oh, yes, but oh, no. Welcome to the cohort's quarters. Here you can see all available tech brace and troop troops currently unlocked. Troop units are shown on the top left uh, top of the screen. Here you can see what skills each troop have are available. Okay, sure. Deck priests are shown in the bottom six slots. Left mouse button to click on one customization. Okay. Welcome to Tech Priest customization screen. There are many ways to customize your Tech Priest. You can change their weapons, body augments, backpack upgrades, and more. You can upgrade your Tech Priest's head. Oh, you can upgrade your Tech Priest. Head to the Disciplines button near the Tech Priest portrait now. This is the discipline screen. From here, you can upgrade your tech priest using Blackstone. Each discipline is focused on a different playstyle. Select one of the skills from one of the six discipline skill trees now. Okay, so generate cognition points. Next weapons attack doesn't require tech points to use. Extra damage, extra movement, and crit speed. 
Avoid all opportunity uh, attacks. Move faster. Uh, tar cleanse the target of negative effects. And extra range for ranged weapons. I mean, the extra movement critical chance, I want to say this is the best. Oh, that's troop unit. Oh, I see. So he can he can buff a buff a dude. Okay. You have enough augment capacity to equip this tech priest with a weapon. You can okay. Drag a weapon slot. And take up one of their augment capacity slots. Okay. So what even is this guy good at? How do we even know? Can I go back to Cohort? Because are these guys new? We can also customize faction so we can just change the colors. Are they virtually identical until I start m mucking with them? It looks like that's the case, actually. Huh. What about tech? This is a list of technologies collected so far. You can find tech, such as weapons or items on missions, or as a reward for completing missions. This is a collection of weapon blueprints you found so far. These blueprints are known as standard template construct constructs fragments, or simply STC fragments. Okay, so we have phosphor blast pistol, just does some energy damage, extra damage on the machine, got it. And also power axe. Okay, machine spirit destroy armor. Neat. Okay. STC fragments of an item can be implemented in your backpack slots. Support based skills such as healing and damage absorbing shields and more. There are three versions of each item, and each version increases in power. Troops and what level they've achieved so far. So we have Servitor level one. Shows all ship upgrades you've acquired so far. Ship upgrades affect your repair efficiency between missions, number of tech priests you can access, and so much more. These are your canticles, known as cant Canticles of the Onisaya. These are prayers used in. Uh, these prayers are prayers that can be used in game. Canticles are unlocked by completing quests that are listed on each unlocked canticle. Once the quest for the canticle is complete, you're able to take the canticle on missions and use it. It's incredible abilities. So, complete missions and missions. Mission without using a canticle. Use five canticles, kill a boss, scan necrons. Okay, so these are active abilities. So I can just bring the, the heal mission along, or move along. Okay. So we also have a bunch of dudes. It looks like each of those NPCs that we talk to have missions that we can we can do along the way. Neat. And so those tech priests that I I had earlier, uh, I looks like they've completely disappeared. How do I upgrade these guys? I have no idea. Okay, there's a lot to be done here. So next upgrade is cash. So it doesn't look like there's an EXP system, just spend 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 resources and upgrade the dude. Gotcha. Well, this is fun, and one hell of a long tutorial. They, I'm glad that it was kind of hands-free, or hands, hands-free, hands-off. Uh, I love the visuals, I love the music. Uh, they, they've got a really cohesive style here. And the gameplay doesn't seem half bad. The level design, once you actually get into combat, is kind of rather boring compared to like XCOM. Or, you know, many other games of the class. But, I mean, it seems functional, which is a weird thing to say about a game, but it's an achievement for a lot of uh, 40, 40k games. I guess Warhammer in general, so, I don't know. It seems neat. Uh, it'll be out sometime later today, or maybe it's already out. I'm not entirely sure. I just know it came out on the... came comes out on the 15th. And, uh, I don't know. I guess as far as, like, kind of a introduction to this side of the War Warhammer lore. It's not bad so far. A lot of pronouns and a lot of adjectives that I don't get. <laughs> uh, I've tried reading the books, but man, they are dense. I need like a... I need like a primer on where to start because I just have like a bunch and I was just like I'll just pick a random one. And Nope, that was a mistake. I don't know. Anyway, I guess with this, uh, we're going to stop here obviously. It's 54 minutes into the 55 minutes into the video. 
I like the game. I could do more. I could move on to other things. I guess it really depends on what you guys think. Uh, so, I guess if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. And then I can either keep going or move on to other things, like I said. I guess with that, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more indie games, uh, hit subscribe because I've got tons to get through. I got more than I have hours in the day, and that's a problem. <laughs> see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.